EA Sports coverage of PGA Tour Golf brings us to South Carolina amidst the sprawling dunes and sandy vistas that comprise the ocean course at Kiowa Island. Alongside Frank Nabilo, I'm Rich Lerner. Uh, Frank, this golf course is a challenge. Kiowa Island, what makes it so tricky? First and foremost, the weather. Uh, you could play two rounds of golf at Kiwa and you wouldn't think you were playing the same golf course. You play it on a still day, this is relatively easy. You're on a fun walk. Play it on a windy day, and this is just flat out hard. Second shot. Good look at the green. quality shot right there four feet all that's left for birdie you bet easy as can be that's in for birdie frank looking out onto that marsh no doubt there are alligators roaming around so it's a good time to remind our players that this is where they decide how much of that marsh they want to bite off with the tee shot here yeah, I don't really advise biting too much off, Rich. This is almost an S-shaped par five. Uh, I mean, there's a long run up down that right side. So basically anything in a straight line, a good tee shot, still going to be able to reach. And this round starting off strong after the birdie at the first. This in the fairway at number two. Stop. Home in two on the par five. Oh, I nearly had it. Just going to wander a foot or so by. So not much more than a tap in there for a birdie. And what a start. Two under through two holes. Now to the third hole, the par four is 390 yards. You're going to drive across the marsh. The fairway is expansive. Really, the challenge here is that approach shot. It's a tabletop green. If you miss it, it will be a hard-earned four, I promise. Beautiful tempo to that swing, and this is going to wind up squarely in the fairway. 80 yards to the flag stick. Yep, played that nicely. That'll work out just fine. So now eyeing this one for birdie. Yeah, that's as easy as one, two, three. Count them. Three birdies in a row to start this round. This is a tough hole, the fourth at 484 yards of par four, and it's pure Kiowa. In fact, this is the hardest hole on this front side. You have to deal with the marsh off the tee yet again. The real challenge here the winds, they can be blustery and they can make this hole a bear. I'll tell you, this is shaping up to be some kind of round. Birdies at one, two, and three. And another good tee shot here at the fourth. Strike. I could tell that by the uh, sound as the ball came off the club face. That little bounce and check. Well done. Oh, yes. Well done. It's a birdie. The move to four under now on the day. 
So, Frank, here we are, the first par three on the golf course, and what do you make of this fifth hole? It's really two holes, Rich. When the flag is on the left, it's basically one green, and when the flag is on the right, it's effectively another type of a golf shot. This green is actually 40 yards wide and separated with that little faint ridge in the middle. Yeah, solid shot right there, and it'll be a good look at birdie here at number five. Frank, not only is this the biggest green on the golf course, we are at the easternmost point of the ocean course. Yeah, it's a nice view. Remember when Pete Dye designed this golf course, his wife Alice actually said, you can't really see the, uh, the ocean. So what they did is they raised the whole golf course, all the playing levels, up six feet. Now you've got a tremendous view from this corner. Heading back toward the clubhouse, now we find the par four sixth hole at 490 yards. Right-handed golfers want to play this right to left to give themselves a good look at this green, where the lone major concern is the bunker short and left. Nothing to fault there. Safety in the fair. Second shot straight ahead, and we go to Iona Steven. 129 yards left to the flag today. Pin, front right. It's a sneaky one. I like the looks of this one. Now, really nothing wrong with that approach shot. Just a little shy of where you'd like to finish up, but still, one good putt, maybe a bird. in for a birdie. Well done. The seventh at 579 yards. Par five. Bunker will be on the mind throughout. First, you'll need to avoid one off the tee. Next, you'll need to avoid the long strip that hugs the left side of the fairway on your second. And for good measure, a moat of sand encircles the area left and beyond the green. Boy, just machine-like right now. Six birdies in a row, and now another tee shot in the fairway. Struck it so well, you could see that by the reaction of that ball when it hit the green. Landed so softly. This, only about five feet for birdie. Nah, that's going to miss right, and a good opportunity goes by the wayside. Mm, so a birdie chance from close range goes awry, and that'll be a frustrating three-putt par. They say long is rarely a good miss at the ocean course. Never is that more evident than here at the par 3-8. It is another elevated green anything that skips over the back will leave a semi-blind shot out of a deep waste area. Okay, safely aboard. Not an easy one, 20 feet away. Shaking her head as she finishes that for a par. 
Hole number nine here at the Ocean Course is a long par four at a robust 514 yards. Flat lies difficult to find anywhere from the rolling fairway to the undulating green. A four, that's a great way to finish out this front side. shot there well placed in the fairway second shot coming up let's check in for the first time with Notavigay the third she's got 155 yards to the hole pin is very accessible here right in the center of the green and maybe a little too pumped up there that just flew past the flag but still an outside chance for a birdie It is a birdie here at the ninth. And that'll finish off a 29 on this front side. Seven shots under par. The 10th hole at 447 yards has, like most of these holes, a few areas to avoid. The first is the steep-faced bunker right of the fairway, with the second being the large wash encircling the left-hand side on this sloped green. Really starting to make a hard game look easy. Drive after drive has been superb. And this one, well, as we like to say, is in the mayor's office. Second shot forthcoming from the left side of this fairway. Shot coming in here. I know it's a little long, but still inside that 10 foot circle is always good and even money, really, to make birdie. Yeah, can't take those for granted. Good concentration there, and it's in for a birdie. Part 5 11th, and another scoring opportunity here early on the back side, Frank. This par 5, it looks very easy to hit it down the left side, but in actual fact, you've got to aim a little down the right side, and the reason why as this fairway actually kicks or canvas from right to left. So anything down the middle, chances are it's going to finish in the rough. Find the fairway, then this hole opens up. Boy, she just seems to be on autopilot right about now. That, another good drive off the tee. Has to be thrilled with that second shot here to the par five. Frank got everything out of that. Yeah, did well just to advance the ball so far down the fairway. And now a fairly straightforward third shot. Chance now for another birdie. Yes, well done to get it in close, and then that finished off for a birdie here at the par five. Next up, the par 4 12th at 484 yards. The fairway here is one of the most generous on the course, but the closer you get to the hole, the more that lagoon and bunker start to make their presence felt. Everything flowing really well right now. Coming off three birdies in a row. Here's another solid tee shot as well. Perfect spot to play this second. Middle of the fairway. Oh, this could be good. 
she's got great balance in that swing. So you see, just picks the iron shot off the turf. And, well, the result, inside 10 feet, well done. This is to start the backside. Birdies at 10, 11, and now 12. The par 4 13th here at the Ocean Course is beauty, demanding strategy off the tee. Challenging the canal running down the right side allows you to possibly shorten the hole, but playing away from the canal brings a cluster of pot bunkers into play left. Once again, another great tee shot. So I'm starting to wonder how low can you go? And the driving has been simply superb. Second shot coming now from just over 170 yards. Oh, pumped up there. That's a little too long and consequently going back down the hill now. Going to require some touch. Ah, the line. Perfect. Ball. That's in for a birdie. Par 3 14th here at the Ocean Course. Just gorgeous, but it is treacherous. You're exposed to the wind up there on the green, and you might need to hit, I don't know about lumber, but low iron at a minimum, Frank. This is a great hole. It certainly is. It can play as long as 240 yards, but it's one of those holes, too. If you if you were aware of the fact that most of the field's going to play it in three and a half or four shots, you would take three every single day. Well, I'm going to tell you now, that's exactly what they do in this hole. Don't try and make it two. Take a three, you will gain on the field. Listening? Now this for another birdie. And this is a putt pro's practice for hours. Slightly uphill and dead straight. for a birdie here at the par three. On to the 15th, a par four at 466 yards. Plenty of room in the fairway off the tee, making this definitely a second shot hole. Because trust me, you do not want to miss left and find yourself in a waste area where you need a ladder to get in and out of. Boy, just machine-like right now. Six birdies in a row, and now another tee shot in the fairway. And this is looking really good. A little short, a little left, but inside 10 feet, so even I can't really criticize that. Just six feet left for the birdie. Yeah, walk that one right in. That's good putt. And it's in for a birdie. The final par five of the round comes here at the 16th. You'd be forgiven for turning this into a three-shotter because whatever you do, you will need to avoid that deep area left of the green. Shot. So in the fairway, but a pretty good number to carry here for a second to the par five.
Okay, that worked out well. Landing just short, releases on to the green. Still a long ways to go, though, to make the eagle three here. Yeah, at least you get a nice, enjoyable walk with the putter in the hand, so it certainly works out well. That's really well done from that distance. You'll take it every time. Chance now for another birdie. Yes, a two-cut birdie. That's in for a four. Now to one of the most famous holes in recent major championship golf, the 17th, the par three. And Frank, I don't want to plant seeds of doubt. But when I stare at this hole with the water, I'm thinking about disaster and calamity. It's all right there, isn't it? It's all happened here, Rich. Uh, this hole has a memory. Uh, the first time we ever saw it on TV was in the 1991 Ryder Cup. And it was the deciding hole. Um, so many of the best players in the world actually found water. For example, even just this finish. Remember Colin Montgomery playing Mark Kalkovecchio? Colin Montgomery finished bogey, bogey, double bogey, bogey, and won all four holes. But this one, this one, you just try and survive. And there's the surgeon's touch right there. Well done to run that in for a birdie. The S-shaped 18th at 505 yards, truly one of the great finishing holes in golf. Trouble lies right off the tee with dunes and bunkers there to penalize those trying to cut the angle and then left up near the green if you let that final approach wander offline. Well, it's a rarity on the PJ Tour, but a perfect 14 for 14 off the tee. This has been a marvelous exhibition. So job one is completed and done well. That was a good drive, but Frank, there is a lot of work ahead here on this second shot. Exactly right, Rich. After that tee shot, then you look at the second shot, what's up ahead, which is going to be another long approach shot to a green that, once again, does not sit straight in front of you. So you have to aim a little down that left side, just favor left of middle, and strike it. Well played here, went straight for the flagstick, and she will have a nice putt coming up. It's a birdie at the last. And that will mean that this is a round of, get this, 56. So all in all, Frank, what a round to witness. That was a ball striking clinic. Clinic is the right word, too. It was just clean as a whistle. Wonderful round of golf. So for Frank Nabilo, Notabagay the third, Iona Steven, and a cast of hundreds. I'm Rich Lerner. You've been watching PGA Tour Golf on EA Sports. So long, everyone.